So this is my PSK bum belt survival kit. So the purpose of this is that if you are trekking in the bush and you're in the wilderness and you do become separated from your pack, um, you have a series of basic necessity items on your person at all times. So I'll just, I'll just run you through some of the items in here. This is a paracord bracelet. You've probably seen these on the internet if you watch a lot of uh, bushcraft videos. So I've just got that hanging on there with a carabiner and it's a quick deploy paracord bracelet. So it's a, an emergency section of uh, four and a half meters of rope. So just here on the waist strap of the bum bag, I've put a, a sternum strap whistle. I've just threaded it through uh, the webbing of the waist strap. So the, the actual belt clip that the bum bag came with is separate, of course. Unfortunately, um, I think the whistle itself is not strong enough as the main belt clip, so I still rely on the main belt clip. So the overall weight of my PSK so bum bag is 690 grams. So I'll just open it up and show you, you know, what that weight consists of. This here is my satellite phone. So if I am lost in the bush in an emergency situation and there's no way out, I can call for help. So on my channel, we have a separate video about the satellite phone, which you can watch if you wish. So the satellite phone is always in this plastic waterproof container, also with a tissue, and I keep a rubber band wrapped around it while it's in there. So I'll just put that aside for now. Now, possibly one of the most important items you can possibly carry on any wilderness trek is a knife. So that's the Swiss Champ Victorinox pocket knife and I've got a review on this on my channel. You can also see that if you wish. Also inside the front of the bum bag I just carry a miniature cigarette lighter. So it's just the smallest possible uh, cigarette lighter. Probably only weighs about 11 grams itself. another compartment here in the bum bag here I have another whistle and that's a fishing line tied around it so I don't actually carry this for the purpose of a whistle it's just a very handy thing that I had lying around to wrap the fishing line and hook on and look honestly I'm not exactly sure you know, if in a survival situation could I actually catch anything with this but we've, we've actually been doing a bit of fishing lately so that's one reason that's in there so that's my PSK Y PSK survival kit system. Move the camera in so you can see that easier. So there's really not much in there. It's pretty basic. And, and some people watching this might be thinking, well, there's other items that should be in there. But I like to keep it as lightweight and compact as possible. So the overall weight, including all that gear, is 690 grams, but the bum bag itself only weighs 140. So being lightweight and compact, it's comfortable to wear on your belt. So it's always going to be there when you need it because all of this gear will be completely useless if you can't access it when you need to. And personally, I would consider the three most important items you can have in any survival situation is a rope, a knife, and the, the ability to create fire. So those, in my opinion, those three items you should always have on your person when you're in when you're in the wilderness. So even even when I'm sitting around the campfire at night, I will be wearing this belt. If if I walk away from the campsite to go to the toilet, um, I will have this with me because you never know what can happen. And and the worst thing is the worst thing that could happen would be if you were separated from from your tent. So whether I'm hiking in the desert or the snow or bush, I will, I will always have this bum bag around my waist. It's only at night when I go to sleep that I take it off before I get into my sleeping bag. So there's a whole other sort of series of items that I carry when I'm hiking. Um, but most of those items, such as the tent sleeping bag, will be in a larger backpack. 
So you know, as you're walking along, sometimes you might just put the backpack down to have a bit of a rest. And you might you know, go for a 20 meter stroll away from, away from your backpack. And there have been cases where you know, people might have slipped down a ledge or down, a, down an embankment, injured themselves and then you know, unable to get back to the backpack. So at least you, know, you have these items with you. Now a lot of people out there, they might not want to carry a satellite phone, so you, know, you might keep your spot or EPUB device in, in a belt bag. It wouldn't have to be a bum bag, you could even use a small camera case to carry a lot of this, these items. So even when I'm driving in the wilderness, whether it be in a four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive car, I will actually be wearing this as I'm driving. Because another thing that could happen in, you know, with the amount of black spots, mobile phone black spots that there are in the bush, yeah, you never know what could, you could, could happen. You might pull over for a rest, walk away from your car, or as you're driving, you, you could actually roll in your car. And I sort of, sort of have this vision in my head of you know, if my car did roll and I'm stuck in there, well, I, I might be able to pull out the satellite phone and call for help. Well. I'm not sure if that scenario would work out the way I envision it to, but just a thought. So there's the PSK Survival Bug Out Bum Bag. Call it what you like, the most necessary items that you might need if you were stuck out there.